welcome from Lunen in Germany. This vehicle is the Dreamer Cap Land Lond. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. And I'm at Reisenmobil Hartmann, who are a Dreamer, Itaneo, and Fleurette dealership. So let's have a look at this vehicle here. It's 530 four centimeters in length. I have actually talked about this one in the past in other videos and uh, whereas uh, the idea of a camping car, a can, I've used that word perjuratively in the past, uh, is I think not such a good idea. What this vehicle's got, which I appreciate, and I've said this before amongst Westphalia models, is that it's got a toilet, it's got a shower, and it's got, okay, well, a bit of a kitchen as well. So that's what we've got here. And it's got a tent in the roof. When I say tent, uh, yes, that's what it is. It's a tent. So let's have a walk around here, come in here. Now this thing here, it's got a weight of around three tons, so it's not much lighter than uh, a, a motorhome would be. A little bit, but not a lot. Not a motorhome, a camper, camper van, I should say. So, uh, let's have a look inside. What is the point of having a rear-facing bench, you may say? And that would be a reasonably good Question, why do we have a seat here? There's another good question. And above all, coming through here, why do we have a cushion on top of the toilet, which is down there? And I shall try to answer these questions in the point up during this video and oh, there's another point what's this what's this one here doing down there hasn't got a better home to go to well i want to try and find out so let's start off at the back because this is the sort of area i find the most interesting not the front but the back so uh you can see we've got a tent in the roof which is up there as you can see and the tent is currently in its up position but i've actually done a couple of videos with it in its down position to make a point all right so we've got this here there's so the toilet's under there and uh, this thing here comes up and that might be useful this coming up i mean you don't have to take it up if you want to use the toilet as long as you can so you don't need to get in more than that there's the toilet and we can, so just to make the point, I'm just going to put that up there like that. So you've got your toilet there. And you may be thinking, I know what that there's for. That's so it's comfortable when you, whilst you're looking at the contents of your fridge. So let's have a quick look at the contents of the fridge. Ah, oh, well, the fridge is empty. Let's hope the toilet is as well. Because I've heard this, this vehicle was at the... Uh, Dusseldorf trade fair and people have been known to use the toilet fortunately it hasn't been used cassette toilet it's a normal one same as you see in the motorhome a little green thing down there it shows you that the cassette is currently uh, empty or nearly empty because it does stay green for some time a bit like you know in the fuel tank it says it's full when it's uh, like a quarter of it's been used up here We've got some other features. Uh, we have got, so this is where you turn your lights on for the van, your 12 volt, and uh, there's your Truma heater, a boiler, I should say, and there's your Webasto heating. Webasto heating, diesel heating, that'll save you having to carry a large gas canister in. That here is for the shower. And, okay, now, now comes the hard bit. There's the electricity. Oh, right. Well, the shower's down here. 
This is the shower tray. I want to lift it up. There you go. Shower tray in a tiny vehicle like this. And uh, if you want to, I mean, this is a bit fiddly to say the least, but you're going to have to sort of get yourself down like this, some, in this sort of a position, and have a shower. There is a screen which comes across which gives you a bit of uh, privacy but then again you know at the end of the day this vehicle has the footprint of a car so you can't really expect too much in the way of luxury just heard that a gentleman bought a vehicle from here 75 years old and uh, I can say at my age, I would find this, I would want a little bit more luxury than this actually gives. But uh, anyway, so he's going to be using this for traveling around Spain and other places. I don't know why he didn't have the money. He could have had a motorhome, of course. Then again, maybe you wanted something he can park easily. Um, as I always say, it's horses for courses. I'll put this thing here back. Do we have a look in there? Do you want to look in there? Probably not, but I'll show you anyway. There you go. And you can see what's in there. You get a little bit of storage there. So I'll put this thing here back. Oh, didn't show you putting it back. You have to believe me. I'll put it back. There you go. Oh, didn't show you putting it back. You have to believe me. I'll put it back. There you go. So you've got this, you've got this thing here. You can sit on here, as I said. Sit on here and admire the contents of your fridge. I've got a bit of storage down here for things as well. And down here as well. And incidentally, there's some storage places there. Good. Now, it does come with a wardrobe. I'm really keen on having wardrobes in vans. And that's the wardrobe. Now, this cushion, in previous years, this cushion actually lived in the wardrobe. But uh, they've changed the look of the wardrobe. So it's now a fiddly thing that just gets moved from place to place. So I'll put this back there. Coming around here, right, you've got a kitchen, as you'd probably expect in a van. There you go, it's relatively standard. This van is under two meters in height, which means that uh, that could be a magic level for getting it in underground car parks and the likes. You know, these drawers here are pretty large for a vehicle of this size. Oh, and what a van from France would be complete without a wine cabinet. Uh, you got your 12 volt there. And this here is for your shore power hookup. So to be quite honest, that has got quite a lot of storage there. And, okay, here we've got what I would have to say is a relatively comfortable table. And it's got some publicity for the vehicle on it at the moment. And I can sit down here and sort of admire the van. Storage there, also across there as well. And we've got some bits of uh, wood there. I wonder what that could be for. Well, I think we'll have to find that one out. The, uh, over here. So that's where your gas is gonna go. Gas cabinet. And here, kitchen extension. And comes down. It normally would have something to hold it up with. 
And now, let's have a look at the, what we've got here. This is the Ford Transit Custom. In this case, it's coming automatic. So you're, you're paying, getting off a 3,000 extra for the automatic. And uh, good. And you can see the seat I'm sitting in turns around to become a captain's chair, although the driver's seat doesn't actually do that. Bed down here, 180 by 130. The bed in the roof is 110 centimeters in width. So, uh, that's the van. I think of all the vehicles I've seen recently, the one I really would like to take out the most is this one. Why is that? Well, the reason is because I used to sort of travel around in my Mercedes. You've got videos of it on YouTube. And this has so many more facilities obviously i wouldn't have i probably certainly wouldn't have the tent up like that so i'd have to have the roof down but even with the roof down you've got a, re a reasonable area to sort of sit in here i would make the bed downstairs rather than upstairs the reason for that is when except in the summer of course uh, it'd be just just too cold otherwise and uh Oh, that's a bit. Oh, it's a bit more like it. Talking about it being cold. So that's how I feel about it at the moment. But let's see now how the bed actually works. Um, now, um, Dreamer has a explanation of how to do this. So when you get this, you get the answer as to how this jigsaw works. And jigsaw, in a way, it is. So have a look at it. Great, I've got here the instructions. I've got my glasses on, so I'll be able to read them. And now we're gonna try and uh, put everything to make a bed. Right, first thing, chairs have to come round as far as they will go. So I'll do that. And, no, oh, that's to put on later. And I think that's as far as that will go. That's number one thing. Right, got the instructions here. So each uh, of these cushions has a number on. That one there is number seven. And so we'll think about where seven goes in a while. But the first thing I'm gonna do is logically, I'm gonna take the table out. So the table, this is easy, that comes up like that, and then we'll take the stalk out, I hope, yep, yeah, that was easy, sorry, the stalk can come down here, and right, next thing we're going to want to do 
is, as I recall, we've got these things here. We've got a number four there. So I'll put the number four over here. And we've got a number three here. So I'll put the number three here. This thing here comes out. So I'll take, oh, oh, that's come out now. Then, uh, thinking logically, this is going to have to come over. Good, so we've got a bed here. I'm thinking logically, without looking, that's going to have to come out. And here, we've got another one. Now, where's this going to go? No, the logical place I'm thinking of is here, like that. Now, next one, we're going to need something to fit in here, which is also uh, going to uh, su support the uh, support the table. Seems like a good idea. We're going to table go. I think I'm going to have to take this out here, logically. Well, this is going to have to come out sooner or later. goes up there. Now we're going to have to put the table down here somehow. This is... Uh, ah. Alright. Table in here. Ah. Aha. Got it. That fits there like that. Yep, that definitely fits there like that. Now, the question is to actually balance everything here correctly. So that was probably going to go there like that. And that comes down there. Then we've got two. Where could they go? Um, I need a long one. A long thin one goes over here. No, against the chair. Four. Number four. Where's number four? Four. Four goes against the chair, something like that. Three sticks in here, what's this? That's three, four, three, and two. Two will go here, that's correct. And this one here is six, or nine, it's six. Six goes here. So then we have to find seven, and this is probably seven. That's seven. So six will come in here, I think. Oh, all right, good. And seven. Hmm. Five, six, and seven. I see what I've done wrong. I need something to fit in here. Aha, this is what I've done wrong. You see, I forgot about this one here. That comes across there. In fact, that would go in there, but I'll follow as by instructions. So this thing here comes out. That goes down there like that. I think. Let's try and push it forward. Five, six. That comes here. And that goes there. No, not like that. It'll go like that. And almost there. And what you might want to do, get something like this, is have individual covers for each chair so that they didn't all get dirty. I think that's it. Is that alright? What's that look like? So that's how you make your bed. Of course, once you've done it once or twice, it probably gets easier.
I hope you found that interesting and if you did you might want to subscribe and uh, if you get any benefit from what I do please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks very much for watching.